Hi, this is Marloon's Creations, and today I will be showing you how to make one of these frogs. This one is a red eye tree frog, and this one I believe is the poison dart frog uh, with a little bit of a colors changed. Today I am going to make a girly frog. So for the boys, I will tell you when to change the color, but I figured I'd make one for my daughter. The supplies you will need for today are your rainbow loom with the arrows facing down. You will also need your crochet hook and you will need two colors. One for the frog and one for his middle of his belly. Now on this frog I have three colors. I chose green, lime green, and then where his nails or yeah the fingernails would be. But for this frog, I just chose one whole color for his hand. And I kind of like the way this one looks better. The I also like the way it feels. This one, I use the jelly bands that I bought at um, AC Moore or Michaels. And then the metallic blue. It just it feels nicer. But if you notice the difference, when I use the jelly compared to a regular color, it, it became a little tighter and smaller. So really it's all about preference. Um, today I'm going to be using this pattern. So I will be using purple where I have placed the blue and then my frog for today instead of metallic blue will have white and I'm going to teach you how to make that. And you will also need, so you, would, you need two colors, one for his the main part of his body and then for his feet and hands and the inside of the belly is the same color and then you need two pony beads and we will be using a sharpie to color in his eye and today I will be using the jelly purple and white so don't forget also two pony beads of your choice it doesn't matter you can if you wanna copy a frog that you see online an actual species of a frog that's really cool too but if you want to invent your own a tie-dye frog a Christmas frog you know a, a Valentine's Day frog get creative you know it doesn't matter so for today I will begin by showing you how to make his hands and feet I'm gonna show you two ways the first way is you can either take your hook and grab one band and wrap it around four times and then you can grab another two bands and place it over your hook and pull these over you can pinch it and then you would slide that into the middle and that's one way of making a whole bunch of these. You, we would need um, um, we need three, six, nine, twelve. So we need twelve of these. So that is one way. The other way is you would take two bands, if that's difficult for you, and place it on your loom like that, and then grab another single band and wrap it around four times. Then you would just grab your hook reach under the capping band and pull over and that's that will make the exact same thing so it's really which one you find easier just remember you need to make 12 of those so I am going to pause the video I'm going to make some more and then when I come back you should have chose the color that you want for your frog and you need to make 12 of those and then we will place them to the side. So once you have made 12 of these the next step is we are going to begin the body of your frog. So you are going to grab um, a single purple band and place it from here to here then grab a, another single and place it from here to here. Now grab another single band and thread it through a pony bead 
and this is going to become your frog's eyes and you can do it for the other if you do not have pony beads I will show you what you can do you can grab I will show you with um, a red band you can grab uh, two bands uh, the color that you would like your frog's eyes to be and you can wrap it around your hook four times and then it becomes kind of the shape the size of the pony bead and then grab a single band that's going to be the same color that matches your frog and thread those bands by pinching and just bring it over and then that will become your frog's eye and then you would place that like this and you would do the same for this side so two bands wrapped around four times on your hook and then thread it onto a single but today I'm going to be using the beads so don't forget it's a single band and then another the eyeball one and then a single band from here to here and then the eye Then using double go down three and on the fourth you turn in the same on this side Now in case you're wondering where I pick up my pony beads, they sell them at any craft store, but um, I usually pick them up actually at the dollar store, and they give you quite a few for a dollar, so it's, it's not expensive to buy. So now I'm going to do the neck, the shoulder, so you're, you're skipping this pin right here. This shoulder. Oops. And we're going to go down all the way. this side and now on to the middle we are going to use the color that matches his hands and feet, so I'm using white.
Now I'm going to show you how to add the hands and feet. Grab your crochet hook and place one of these that you made earlier and loop both of those onto your hook and you're going to place three on them. Then grab, you can either choose to thread a white band that matches this or the color of your frog. See, if I choose blue, I can see it through. If you don't want that, you can choose the same color. So I'm going to choose white and just thread those links onto that sink onto the double bands. Those are two bands. And then it should look like that, which already looks like his hand. Now grab the color that matches your frog, which mine is purple. Those were double bands. And you can thread another set. <coughs> On here I did two sets. If you want to make his arms longer, you can you can add a third. I'm just going to leave it at the I'll add another link actually. I'll do three. So we added one, two, three sets of purple. And then you can grab your hook and place these loops over this peg. After you have placed your uh, frog's hands on here, I noticed that when I looped my last frog that I created that the hands were not facing me and so I came up with a way to make it once they're looped turn. You have to kind of twist the band so take off the first two bands Where is it? and just be careful to not lose it so the bottom two is, are on and the top two are off. Now if we were going to replace it, we would just loop it like this. So I'm going to twist it in the opposite direction and then place it back on the hook. And then when we loop, it will want to face this way. If you don't like that and that confuses you, you can just leave your frog's legs that way. Now we are going to repeat the same process with these. Add three, double white, And then grab the color that matches your frog, or if you don't want to, you can grab any color. And then repeat the same process. You're going to place both of the loops over your peg. 
but if you want his hands to face this way, you're going to remove the top two carefully and then twist him, twist the band and place it back over. And then that will make his hands face you when we when it's time to loop. Now I'm going to show you how to make his thigh area. You're going to grab a single band that matches the color of your frog and wrap it around your hook only three times. And then you're going to grab two more. and thread those on then you're going to thread two more through now if you want to do this on your loom if you have a spare loom, I should have showed you this in the beginning you can just go down, you can put two here, two here, two here, and then two here. So going down four, and then the fourth peg, you're going to wrap a band around only three times. I, I should have showed you that in the beginning, but. So let's grab two more. And then the last set. And we're going to place these on the, not the last peg, but the one above it. Then grab your hook and thread it through those loops that we wrapped around only three times. And you're going to place it on the peg that's not the second one, but the third one up. So you're skipping this one and going to this one. And now we're going to repeat the, I already have a spare one, so if you want to stop the video and rewind it, I'm just going to place my other thigh on this side. You should have placed your other set on the other side of your, you know, the frog's thigh. And so far this is what your loom should look like. And now we are going to be adding his feet. So grab another three and thread another two white bands through those, like the way I have here. And I'll do this one. And then grab the two bands and pull those through. And then grab two purples, or the color that matches your frog, the main part of his body. And then you are going to place it on the last peg. And again, when we loop it, you don't want his feet shaped like this, or facing this way. So you're going to remove the top two, and you're going to twist it. and then his feet will face forward. And then I'll do it with this one. I already had this one made. I will thread two more purples. Place them both on. Then remove just the top two, and rather than place them straight, you're going to place it backwards. And then that twists them. And that just, it looked a lot better when I looped it. And we are done. We're going to be placing the uh, triangle bands now. So grab the color that matches your frog's main color of his body, and on these three, 
take a, sing a, ba uh, take a single band from here to here on those three and twist it tw over twice. The same with these three. You want to twist it over itself twice. Then over these three. And I don't place any on these. And now we can loop. So you're going to grab your hook and place it in this pin right here, peg pin, and grab the bottom two and bring it up and over to the peg above. And then you're going to avoid his thigh and you're going to reach the, the only ones you're reaching are the bottom two. Make sure you're only grabbing the bottom two bands and bring them up and over. Now, if you're not using jelly like me, this the jelly bands are slippery, so it just makes it easy to loop. But if you're not using jelly, I suggest that as you're pulling the bands up in this area, that you just kind of stretch it out and loosen it up so your bands don't pop. Then reach into these two and bring those up and over. Reach in here, avoid this band. And bring the and grab the bottom two and bring those up and over. They're very tight. Avoiding this band. Grab the bottom two up and over. We're going to avoid these and the hand and just grab the bottom two bands and bring those up and to the middle. You can do the middle as well, it's pretty easy this part. Those of you that know how to loop already, you can just shut off the video and proceed. I know you're good at this. Same with this one. Just going to grab the bottom two, bring it up and over to the peg above. Again, avoiding the thigh band, pull those all the way back and make sure you're only grabbing these two bands on the bottom. If you have a hard time figuring out which ones you're grabbing, you can pull it with your hand or put your finger in there, then you can reach in and you can see them and then you can just grab them. Is it slippery today? Avoid this band. Push all of these back. This part is very, very, very tight, so be careful to not pop your bands. And just grab the bottom two and slowly bring those up. And see, right now I have resistance and I don't want these to pop. So I'm going to just kind of pull my finger and stretch these open and there it just it released the pressure and now I was able to loop it avoid this capping band push it back and loop those bottom bands forward same with this one and with the arm grab just the bottom two I get stuck. And bring it to the peg above. Now we're going to reach into this one that has all these bands and you, you want to grab these. So make sure you're only grabbing the neck band. You're going to reach in and grab only the bottom two. Pull those forward slowly so that you don't snap your bands. Then, once you get to this area, 
you're going to grab these bands. If you don't know which one because there's so many, you can pull it with your finger and inside here you can see the ones that are moving and then you can just pull those forward. Then you're going to grab the next two bands and bring them to the right and the next two to the left. I like to loop the middle first then we reach back into the bottom where his chin is and loop the bottom two up until you get to this peg Same here. Once you get to this peg, you're going to reach in and grab that single band. So you have to push all those back, and it's a little hard because the jellies are very slippery so I'm just going to I got it today I don't got it <laughs> okay and once you bring that over you can grab the bottom band reach through here grab the bottom and bring it up and over up and th through the other band then release that other band and oops, pull. Now we can take it off of your loom slowly. Once you have removed your frog from your loom, you can grab your Sharpie and you can make your frog's eyes. So you take the Sharpie and hold the bead, pinch it so it doesn't move back and forth. And you're just going to use the side of your Sharpie, not, not the front, and you're going to go back and forth like that. See, that looks cool already. I mean, you can make it as thick as you want. Now I have Sharpie on me. And you get the idea. So now, I have made boy frogs and my daughter can get excited over a girly frog. And that loop can be, become a charm or you can take your hook and just thread it, grab it with your hook and just thread it through the back to hide it so that nobody sees it. And that is how you make a frog. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and it wasn't too hard and um, if you like my videos please subscribe.